I'm so screwed. When Steve came downstairs, he had additional items. And so I was a little concerned that maybe Ricky brought anything such as drugs or alcohol. You want to go first? Sure. The one shirt has a phrase on it that's inappropriate. So that's going to be a no. And then just um, the shortness of the skirt. The I skirt. totally disagree, because that skirt is not even short at all, at all. I looked in a couple of places that kind of made me feel like you held back on me. A half-truth is the same as a lie, OK? I definitely thought he found the rum. Trust is important, full trust. Found two more boxes. Uh, I probably just got moved around in the flight. Found, well, it, it's hard to get moved around in a shoe. Uh, I want to have a word of prayer and ask God to help you. Let's join hands. Let's, let's do it like this. Let's do it this way. All right. And I, I think we're going to have to have God's help through this whole process. And I thank you, Father, today that you have brought Ricky, and I thank you, Lord, that you have brought Katie into our lives for this week. Just because you're religious doesn't mean you have to take it out on me. And that, Father, when we leave here this week, that, Lord, we'll be closer together. They will have learned and drawn and grown and become better people. Ricky and I, we're going to establish trust, hopefully. But we're going to have to watch Ricky on, on, uh, on the full truth. They think they can change me when there's no chance. These people are, like, clueless. Uh, if the new dad catches me drinking, he catches me drinking, it'll be interesting. And hopefully I'll be drunk so I can care less. Let's call it a night. All right. All right. Good night, man. All right.